Success is in the eye of the beholder. I don't make excuses. I make readjustments, and that's like, that's pretty much what I live by. The concept of memories of the future is like your childhood perspective, you know, our memory of our future, you know, what we envision for ourselves years from now. Your your life flashes before your eyes, and like, what if what you saw wasn't the image you envisioned as a child, you know? Memories of the future is about creating your own destiny and speaking things into existence. It's about believing. Like, I spend 90% of my time creating music. And that's like, whether it's in my head or just, you know, um, recording melodies in my phone, it's, it's an ongoing process regardless. You know, you kind of, I'm constantly storing mental notes in my brain. And, you know, sometimes I forget them, but then they always come back. Like, if not on this song, it'll come, it'll come for another song. You know, just subconsciously, that's just how it always works out. It's crazy. Those are just the melodies. Keep the melodies. <clears throat> I want to record some of these melodies. You know, most of my studio sessions is pretty. It's it's pretty simple. You know, I I usually have like a, a little Ciroc, um, a little tree. You know, you can't forget the snacks. You know, I gotta have the snacks. That's just how I, that's just how I vibe out. I just like the vibe. Catch vibes. Micah James. It's crazy because not only does he look exactly like me, but our personalities are so similar. Very competitive. Uh, very observant, sense of humor, especially sense of humor. He's so goofy that it's hard to discipline him at times. Definitely loves music. Um, he knows a lot of my songs, mostly by melody. He sings, as I did. I know the importance of a father's presence in a child's life, especially a boy. Mm. He's the source of my happiness. He's why I succeed is the only option that I have, really. You know, and then there are those rare occasions when I get a text from an old high school buddy telling me it's open gym tonight. And shit, who turns shit like that down? Not I. You know, it's always good to reconnect with friends from, like, you know, the basketball world, you know what I'm saying? I, I gave up hoop dreams and found interest in my second love. You know, that's that's a line from my very first mixtape, and that's kind of, you know, uh, you know, basketball was definitely the first love. So, you know, it's always good to reconnect with friends from the basketball world. You know, we always get good games in and, you know, crack jokes, get a bunch of laughs, and, you know, that's what it's about. I'm a shit talker. Clown, nigga. Hey, look, I get this shit on the list. It's in the music. My nigga, you wasn't running for me? Like, hard. My nigga, I'm struggling. Like, I'm like, that's it hard, my nigga. Nigga, you want. Hey, look, 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 look. That's it go hard, though, my nigga. But that's track three. But take one look at the boy who's struggling, man. That's track three. It's speak for itself. Go take out the closet, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but shoes in that motherfucker. Shacks. Nothing but shacks, my nigga. It's a hundred, though. That's 30,000, nigga. Shut up, nigga. This nigga broke, my nigga. Yeah, okay. Stop. You've been one of his people. That's his man. You lying. Look at them. Look at them teeth. Them cash for teeth. Boy, smile. Boy, smile again for the camera. Y'all were using in the pen. Huh? Y'all were using in the pen. In the pen. It was a marriage. It was a struggle for seven years. Don't trip. But I'm in the same place. Hey, I'm better than where he at right now. He's been out for seven more years than me. No, you know where I'm at. Smash me. You definitely doing better. That nigga in the sweets, my nigga. No whip. Nigga, please stop it, my nigga. You do that. Please stop it. Come on, this nigga. Nigga, look at your side. <laughs> nigga, they, oh, nigga, that ain't even black. Get them socks, please. Ah, uh, yeah, I know you a dirty nigga, man. They smell clean, nigga. No, they ain't. I don't know how to wash, nigga, but I wash my own shit. He, he don't want to take the shoes off. He's, he, he's stopping. The camera been on you. Take the shoes off. Them church socks. Or oh, that's just water. <laughs> that's like the design. 
Nigga, what's up with your socks, man? Nigga, that ain't even black, fam. You should've been through it the fuck out, nigga. <laughs> It's crazy, it's crazy how far my city's come musically. I mean, there's so much talent out here, but you know, at the same time, there's no labels, you know, there's no real hip hop venues, there's no real outlets out here. So any, so anyone who does support is like so essential, you know. Um, I mean, to me, to me at least, that's how I look at it. Anybody who does support, they make all the difference in the world, you know. Yo, man, it's Hot 975, blazing today's hottest music, man. You tune into the real ish. Tonight, man, we got a special guest. We got the homie Euros in the building. What up? What it do, man? What it do, man? Man, chillin', chillin', playboy. Yo, man, so we got the crate, the crate two that we about to play today. Okay. We got three tracks. We okay. may have a fourth track. Okay. So, yo, how did this all come about between you and Rap? Now you guys had the first. Um, when I when I started messing with with Red, it was like a mutual thing. Like, okay, yeah. this dude, this dude is nice, and we started knocking joints out. And yeah. We like ended up. Next thing you know, like in uh, four day, five day span, we knocked out like seven songs. We like, man, we might as well do a tape. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we we put out Cray, and it did way better than we expected. And like the fans kind of demanded a second, yeah. so that's how this second one came about. Yo, man, the first one was crazy as well. It was. I got that one. It was. I got the foundation. <laughs> I got the foundation too. That's love. That's love. Yo, man, we about to go more into that too as well. Okay. I right, foundation, of course. Okay. You were telling me off air right now that you wrote that while you was in the pen. Yeah. Man. Yeah. How the hell did I that? I started writing when I was locked up. Okay. I got locked up when I was 18. Yeah. And uh, I got out when I was 22. So I got locked out in two, 2006 and I got out in 2010. Yeah. And I just like all the material that I had and I wrote some new material yeah, and yeah. I put my first song out in 2012. So, so it's almost like a, like a blessing then. No, a blessing in disguise, man. man. Super blessing. Dirt thrown on my name, they tryna bury me alive Plotting to marry this game, like what's your wedding ring size? My new shit, breaking new shit Larry King live and fuck a crown giving this history Cause Larry King died, ages before they time came Patience was the mind frame, a hobo's mindset I go through life hoping to find change My flow popping, gave my haters no options Now the streets of Las Vegas, witness the rose blossom How I accomplished what I did? Mad focus, plus I got a little son, like the blinds half open. I open my heart so I can finally stash hope in. Hoping this journey to smiles, women, and cash don't end. Where them blueprints at? Let me check y'all approach, the resistance. It's apparent we the best, y'all should know. When you stand and say hi is ours, we expect y'all to boast. The city that never sleeps, yet we slept on the most. Slightly stuck in my ways. It's so hard to change, these cats sell they soul That's what it costs the game I've been a star in these streets like the walk of fame But that mentality all too soon as them offers came Was taught by experience, life was my mentor Cray 2, killing close to every album in stores These rappers not ready for this game, that's what the bench for It's no doubt in my mind, it's rap, shit's what I was meant for Check, Vegas Yeah Believe it or not, but I don't frequent the gym like people would assume. I get more writing done in the gym than anything else. But when I'm focused on my body, I'm focused. You only get one. You got to take care of it. The older I get, the more I understand the importance of health. Dieting's my only problem. I love to eat. Okay, I'm riding through my city trying to function If you seen it in the whip, you know I'm fucking She asked me what I do Bitch, quit asking questions, bitch Just know I'm that nigga and I started off with nothing Since I got my hood behind me, I should cop a Porsche Bitch, if money ain't the mission, I'll afford Let me know if it's a problem The ball is in your court, yeah and my niggas split your shit like a divorce Word, I'm a successful nigga and they envy that But fuck em, I just let Benji stack Ten bands for the lawyer, nigga Just in case they tryna send me back These are nights you look back on Me, my crew, and some model friends If it ain't a tape, you know, my mom is
one of my biggest fans, and I know that's cliche to say, but like she really is one of my biggest fans. She's really dope. Like she used to rap herself, and uh, you know, um, she's a fan of my my solo mixtapes, like the, the Foundation series, and she's a fan of that. But like when it comes to the Cray, man, like you know, it's it's another it's another level. Like she she loves that hard shit. So you know, right when Cray two dropped, she hit me. That looks good. Yeah, um, it, it's, it's, and we, we did that, we did that in like five days. And the play, the play. The Cray, Cray 2. The album, the song. Yeah, we, song. yeah, we did that in five days. Two weekends. That shit is filthy. I'm talking about the lyrics on high quality, and I was reading all feedback. Ain't no bad feedback, not one. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear, did you hear any? I yeah, no, no, this, this is like probably the best, like this tape is doing really, so really well. Best. Like caskets. Yes, the lyrics. <laughs> you know, the lyrics, what it is, is the lyrics, Andrew. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to tell you right now, between me and you, don't tell nobody. I think you're going to better than Jay Z and all them. I don't know who they are right now. Who wants to hear their album? I don't. <laughs> there is nothing you want to listen to because you already know what they're going to say and what they're going to do. Right. With, with, with the crew, with you, what you guys are going to do. Right. Lost, baby! 